Another way to measure volume flow rate is velocity times area. Volume flow rate is equal to velocity, not volume, but velocity times area. You know, sometimes you can't pour something into a container and see how long it takes or flush a toilet. Sometimes you got something huge like the Washington Narrows here. Now look at that. You ain't going to pour that into a bucket and figure out how fast it's moving. But if you know the width of the Narrows and the depth, you can get the area. So now you've got this area, this sheet moving. And if you know how fast it's moving, then you can get the velocity. Multiply it by the area, you get volume flow rate. So here's what we can do. I looked up uh, on Google. I just Google, Google mapped this on a scale. The distance across here, if you could show that all the way over there, that's about 1,400 feet. So I've got, I've got a, a width. There's my. Let's see. There's my depth. I got. I'm moving down here. I've got a width and a height. Width, height. I got a width of 1,400 feet. Now I've dived this, and I remember we got down to about 40 feet, but it's it gets narrower on the side. So let's say it's got an average depth of about 30 feet. So the height of the water is 30 feet. The area is a height times the width, which is uh, 30 feet times 1,400 feet. That's, uh, that's going to be 42,000 square feet. So there's a 42,000 square foot wall of water and it's moving. All right. Now, the way we get the velocity is we put something in the water and we float it along. And we see how long it takes to get from one point to another. So we get a, we're going to have to measure a distance traveled over a time. So now we just have to put something in the water and see how long it takes. Did you bring that floaty thing? What did you have in mind? Okay, so we've got a floating object, let's call it a bob, and we're going to go 20 feet. We'll time how long it takes. So ready to start? Ready, set, go! I'm on my way to uh, actually the boat shed. I'll meet you there for a beer. And stop. Okay, so now we know I traveled about 20 feet. How long did that take, Nick? 19 seconds. 19 seconds. 20 feet in 19 seconds. Almost a foot little over a foot per second. So we've got a velocity. Let's just rough it. 20 feet, 19 seconds. I'll, I'll show it. It's going to be just a little over a foot per second. We'll multiply that by the area and we should get the total volume flow rate of the Washington Arrows. So we've got everything we need now. The distance is 20 feet. And the time was 19 seconds. Now the velocity is equal to the distance L over the time, travel the length L, Bob. And that's going to be 20 feet. over 19 seconds, which is uh, uh, 10.5. We should call it, we only have two sig fig accuracy, so let's call it 11. Because we actually did run this as an experiment. 11 feet per second. Now, Let's figure out what the that's a nice spot. 
Okay, so we've got an area of 42,000 square feet, velocity of 11 feet per second. That means that the volume flow rate is velocity times area, which is 11 feet per second times 42,000 square feet. It's going to be 420,000, 462,000 cubic feet per second. Two seconds, it'll be twice that. Now, every second, 462,000 cubic feet are moving through there. So let's find out for, for a time of one second. What's the volume equal to? The volume is the volume flow rate times the time. I just took volume flow rate is volume over time. Multiply both sides by time, solve for the volume. And that's going to be 462,000 cubic feet times per second times one second. Well, you know the answer. 462,000 cubic feet. Now let's find out what that is in gallons, because cubic feet doesn't really help you that much. So, well, the volume is. 462,000 cubic feet. One gallon, let's see, there are 7.48 gallons in one cubic foot. Cubic feet cancel. So 462,000, 7.48. And we get about 3.5 million gallons every second. This isn't fast. This isn't fast moving right now. It's near hot. But three and a half million gallons moving by there every second. Okay, across a certain point. Now let's find out what the weight of that water is. Well, let's see. I can use gallons, I'm going to use the cubic feet. Weight density, rho sub w, is weight per volume. Now I just multiply both sides by the volume, and I get the weight is equal to the weight density, in this case it's water, times the volume. Now, salt water is a little heavier than fresh water, but I'm just going to use the value for fresh water. Salt water is like 64.2 pounds per cubic foot. Fresh water is 62.4. We'll just use fresh water. So this is 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. That's the weight density. And the volume is 462,000 cubic feet. Uh, Woo! That's about 29 million pounds. So if you look out here, velocity times area. We can't pour this stuff into a bucket and measure how fast this happened but we can measure the distance across and the depth and get the area. We measure the velocity, which was about a foot per second. And that means that across this area right there, every second, 29 million pounds of water are flowing through. That's volume flow rate.